What's going on YouTube? Welcome to Hooking with Jared. Um, I just want to make a quick video before I start posting a bunch of content of like my kayak setup which I actually just got and I've only had it out once this year so far. So I kind of want to go over like what I'm working with so that when you guys are watching videos you kind of know what I'm dealing with, what I'm fishing off of, all that good stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, take you through my brand new fishing kayak. Alright guys, so this is what I'm dealing with. This is a real Yaks 9.5 foot modular kayak. Now it's modular as you can see right here. This is actually two pieces. So my little SUV over here, I can fit this kayak in the back. So I don't have to worry about strapping it to the roof or anything. And I don't have to worry about a trailer. So basically, let me switch hands here. As you can see, there's a cutout here with a groove. And then the same thing on this side matches up. So all you do is you lift the back end, set it into the front end. Set it a little sideways there, sorry. So we'll set that straight on there like so. It won't drop in right away. Come to the back, lift it up, drops in perfectly. Take these clips here, which are adjustable. hard to do with one hand okay lock it put the pin through so it won't come unlocked while you're out on the water do the same thing on this side and you're done you have a single kayak uh, no problem so once it's set up like this let me kind of go through what we got going on front storage we have a first aid kit there is a survival kit underneath this life jacket. Here is the pedal fin drive system that obviously can't go down right now because it's sitting on the ground, but this drops down into there. And that is our mobility. This rod holder right here used to be mounted right there. Um, I unscrewed it and it actually screws into the same mounts that the handles do, which there's two extras on each rail. Um, you can see one right there so i moved it over here because up front was too hard to reach like to actually use it so i put it right here off to the side so this gives me a nice place to kind of set my rod down while i'm unhooking the fish um and then i kind of custom made a gopro mount that goes up to a magnetic phone holder and my phone is my uh front camera we got rail mounted cup holder we have a folding net that usually sits in one of the rod holders in the back. This is a debris anchor basically, so you can hook it onto a branch, a tree trunk, a rock, even weeds. And as your kayak pulls, it actually tightens onto whatever you're attached to. So this is a really cool one, I just don't know where I'm going to tie it off to yet. Lip grips, uh, tethered on a retractable lanyard, same with the long pliers. Seat is adjustable. Um, it's basically where it should be at, but it, once you do uh, loosen these, the seat will fold all the way flat for transport. Rudder control here. So as you can see, the rudder is folded right now, but that controls that. Rod holder on either side. Tackle box, backpack. This is my kayak cart, which I bought on Amazon. Um, it's completely disassembled, obviously, right now, because this is where it would be stored um, when kayaking. But obviously, I take that out, strap the kayak to it to get it down to the water. Um, I have a fishing towel on a retractable lanyard as well, um, for as I need it. My backpack straps actually come through this seat strap, and then it's not connected right now, but it connects to a D-ring down here, so that that is secured to the kayak, because the most important thing is make sure you tether everything and then the very last thing would be this dry box here this is a sealed oh, did I just lock it no it's not oh, I'm still getting used to it myself my bad so this is my GoPro fitting wrench a couple tackle boxes of my most used lures and a scale and then also I have a waterproof box that goes in there with my phone and my wallet and all my other important stuff. So, 
from now on, this is kind of going to be my fishing vessel. Um, this is the first legitimate fishing kayak I've ever had in my life. I've never had a pickup truck or even an SUV with a rack, and this doesn't even have a rack available. So I didn't really have any options um, as far as getting out on the water, which really bummed me out, but this solved that. Um, I've taken it out only one time, um, caught a few fish. If you've seen my Instagram or anything like that, you've seen the fish that I caught off the kayak. Um, just kind of wanted to test it out before I actually like did a video on it, because if it sucked, I wasn't gonna make a video on it, but it doesn't suck. It's pretty awesome, and yeah, that's all I really got to say about it. So I appreciate you guys stopping and checking out the video. Um, from now on, when I'm out kayak fishing, now you know what I'm what I'm working with, and I hope that gives you guys a little bit like behind the scenes kind of like. Again, you know what I'm dealing with when I'm out there kayak fishing. So if you stayed to the end, hit the like button. I appreciate you guys, and I hope to see you guys in future videos. Hopefully catching some monster fish off of this kayak. Uh, we definitely got to break it in. So thank you guys. Appreciate it.